welcome to HOS technologies here we are demonstrating GSM SMS control robots so using a microcontroller so in this project we are interface the DC motors through L293D motor driver to the microcontroller and also we interface GSM modem that's in 800 module and 16 by 2 LCD these two interface to the microcontroller along with obstacle sensor that is SR04 so here the inputs are going to be SR04 ultrasonic sensor and a GSM module input and output module and the LCD is the output and L293D motor driver is the output module so coming to the interfacing pins of this micro to the microcontroller so this L293D motor driver interface to the C0, C1, C2, C3 pins and uh, port B interface to the LCD and in the port B, B0, B1 interface to the GS, uh, sorry, uh, GSM modem and A0, A1 interface to SR04 obstacle sensor. So here we are using the 60 RPM DC motors which operated at the 12 volts, 12 volts. So to provide the 12 volts power supply we are using 12 volts battery so which was connected here and this is the rechargeable battery and coming to the charging section so this is a charger this wire is not required and this uh, from these two cables we will get the 12 volts of AC and this is a transformer of 232 to 12 and we need to get the 230 volts power supply from the power, sub power cable and it will get the 12 volts AC and from this uh, diode sorry rectifier so it will be bridge rectifier to uh, AC to pulsating DC and from the capacitor we will get the pure DC and after that voltage will be given to the battery section so from this so the battery will get charged so in order to charge this battery we need to keep this charging for at least of 6 to 8 hours and after that only we can use utilize that ok and the indication of the battery discharging or low battery level will be displayed uh, sorry it will be observed on the LCD so whenever the LCD will be displayed in the dimming characters then we need to understand that the battery low, uh, voltage is very, very low and coming to the demonstration so we need to insert a valid sim card to this GSM modem from here so other than geo sim cards because geo is a LTE old so after inserting the sim card we need to switching on that and we need to observe the steps after insert the sim card just switch on this and hold the reset button so you can see this reset button here we need to hold it till on the GSM modem we can observe that the green light is blinking it is duration of 1 second initially and now it is a 3 seconds of duration so means the G sim card got the signal and then only we need to release the button so we need to uh, important two steps one first step is insert the valid sim card and then switch on the power supply and hold this reset button we need to observe the green LED it should blink for at least of 3 seconds of duration then release that and you can see the welcome message on the LCD right so the display uh, the distance will be displayed on the LCD so now we are going to sending a message so I am going to send the forward message to move the robo forward just I am sending Right. We need to send the message to the SIM card which is inserted inside the right. So the ro uh, robo will be will move forward. So whenever the obstacle detected in front of this robot, it automatically stops there and it will display the message on the LCD. So we set the distance for 40 centimeters. So below 40 centimeters, the robo will be off. And now I'm going to send left. So we need to remember that all characters should be small letters.
so coming to the left so it will rotate for only certain time after that it will automatically stops means only certain angle will be rotates so I send the back one and I will keep the stop some network slow so you can see the direction will be displayed on the robot so now I am going to send stop right. so like this we can control the robot in four directions so I send right so it will the right side right thank you for watching demo